Um, so I'm just here going to talk about this plugin that we are baking right now. Um, it's called Xsync plugin, and it's essentially the idea is to do Xnat to Xnat data synchronization. Um, so you have a source Xnat instance. You have various projects in that source Xnat instance. Each project can define where the destination Xnat instance is. So it is not instance to instance, but project to an instance um, syncing. Um, where did this need come from? Essentially, the Connect Home Coordination Facility, where um, you have various sites contributing data to uh, the IntraDB, which is hosted here. Um, so what kind of configurations can you do? Uh, these are, as I mentioned, project-specific configurations, which means a project can define where the destination XNet instance is and which destination project within that instance it, the data should go to. Um, you can define a sync frequency. Is it daily, weekly, monthly? You can define what gets to be synced. So you can have control over um, various entities within your project that can be synced, and also when the syncing can take place. So by when, I'm not connecting the syncing frequency. What I mean by when is, um, should it be an auto-sync? That means whether the data is um, new or modified, can syncing take place? And should somebody come in, check the data before syncing takes place? So these are the two kinds of events that will decide when the data can be synced. And also the data as it is pushed out, you can have project specific DICOM anonymization that can be applied. So let's look at what can be synced. Um, you can have project level resources that you can define that get to be synced. You can have subject level resources, so you essentially give the label names of those resources. And you can have um, data types that you can define that gets to be synced, and also data, spe data type specific resources, and data type specific scan types and their resources. So essentially, for a project, you have control on various entities that uh, exist in a project and decide what gets to be synced. Um, that's where we are right now. As I mentioned, it's baking. So if you have any use cases that um, you might want to add a feature or you would like something to happen, Please let us know so that before it's completely baked and gone. Yes. So the syncing, does this plugin have to be on both instances? Or no, it's at the source. So the, the, at the receiving end, this is going to the, uh, the SCP receiver? Or the um, at the receiving end, right now things are going as a czar. And the other timestamp of the file being copied? Uh, no, so, w no. Yes. Oh, when you really put one question, how soon can we get our hands? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll... <laughs> We're hoping that there's one version out by July. So I would buy time and say end of July. So. <laughs> Should both the XNAS be in the same version? Not necessarily, but the data types that exist um, in source and destination should be common. So if in one place you have a data type X and it doesn't exist there, then you can't push data. So it's not version dependent, it's data type dependent. <laughs> 